Here we go. Welcome back. Today we are looking at Open Turface KVM. Uh, so this is a mini KVM. So if you don't know what a KVM is, keyboard, video, mouse. Uh, we looked at one, the Jet KVM, a few months ago. I installed one on my home server uh, to kind of manage my most of my Plex, and then I have a Zima Blade on that server that runs my Plex, and then just some backup uh, nuances for the YouTube channel. Open Interface uh, sent me the Mini KVM for the U console, so KVM is now available on the U console. Not a lot to the board. I'll just do an overlay right here of what the board looks like. That has and adds a USB-C, a HDMI, so a full HDMI, and then a USB-A. So we got our USB-A, HDMI, and then we have the USB-C. Today, we will be installing Dragon OS on the Zima board here. And I figured I would use the Open Interface Mini KVM to kind of be the main bridge. And I'm going to be re screen recording this all on the iPad over here. So let's get to this. And uh, briefly, I'm going to show you what the uh, website here for Open Interface looks like. Uh, so let's just go ahead and open up this real quick because they have quite a few little uh, gadgets and gizmos that you guys may be interested in, uh, not just for the U console, but standalone KVMs as well. So here's what their basic KVM looks like. Just a cute little, just small unit that's kind of standalone pretty much. Uh, it looks like it's got a USB-C that goes to the computer. Then you have your HDMI, USB-A, and a USB-C to do the main controlling. Um, so plug and play, BIOS access, network free, text transfer, USB switch, yada, yada, yada. Nice little case there that uh, comes with it as well for their standalone system. And uh, they do have an app for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and Android. So that's very, very neat there. Uh, not a lot yet on the U Console KVM. I believe it was or is open for pre-order. That will be swapping out your LTE if you do have the LTE module in your U Console. So be aware that uh, this board is going to replace that module. You cannot have both. So one or the other. And the same thing if you have the AIO board uh, from Hacker Gadgets, which is uh, the all in one kind of SDR board, it's going to be replacing that board as well. If you're seeing any antennas up here on top, the only antenna that is currently plugged in is for my uh, Wi-Fi, and that's going to the actual board uh, or the Raspberry Pi inside. It's not actually going to the Hacker Gadgets board. That one is currently not installed. On that note, though, I would like to say that Clockwork Pi, if you, are, if you guys are listening to this video by some happenstance, uh, the next iteration, maybe we can figure out a way to have the modules external uh, or a simple open like little spring loaded door just to do a quick swap instead of having to take the whole back cover off. Uh, that'd be really, really cool. Um, but just some food for thought there for uh, future designs. As I think that as the clockwork, clockwork and the U console evolve, people will start developing more and more peripherals and boards for them. Something to keep in mind there. Uh, I think that'd be kind of cool that just to have a hot swap. The software installation was super simple. I didn't really showcase it. So to install this software for your U console with the Open Interface uh, KVM, you're gonna be using the Flatpak installation guide. Uh, this is the one that I use. It was super simple. It took maybe 10 to 15 minutes. A lot of copy and pasting uh, just to throw things in your terminal and just wait until things and packages update. And then after that, you can then run the app. It'll launch over here first and foremost. And since I already have the Zima board uh, plugged in, it's just going to read that off the bat. But just to show you that it does work before I install Dragon OS, we're just going to unplug that guy and plug it back in. And then here in a few seconds, you're going to see the boot up start. So there's the Zima board logo right there. And then it'll run as basic boot up. So you can see here that we have Casa OS up and running. And we're going to be installing Dragon OS. I have it right here on my thumb drive. I believe on the Zima board, once we unplug it, and then we plug it back in, we're going to be holding F11. So right there on the top of the screen, I already have F11 selected. So I'm just going to plug that in and then click on F11. I'm going to hold it down because I think that you have to hold it down continually or to go into the BIOS boot section. Looks like it passed it up for me. So we're gonna unplug that again. All right, so that's not working. So I must be doing something wrong on my part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna take my keyboard here and I'm gonna plug it into the actual keyboard, not the U console. That'll give us the actual hardware connection. Um, we can still use the KVM as a video display. So let's tap 11 here. There we go. 
From here, we're gonna go down to UEFI area. Gonna select that guy, and then we're gonna go to Boot Dragon OS Live System and hit that guy. I must be doing something wrong with the connection or how I have my actual program here, the Open Interface Mini KVM set up. Uh, I'm also in host mode. I probably should be in target mode. You can see that up here at the upper uh, right-hand corner. Uh, that could be a reason why I'm not able to select my top menu there of the F1 through the home. for the Zima board. Uh, that's probably user error on my part. I'm still learning the kind of ins and outs of all this. So that's why I just went with a standard basic keyboard here to just go right into the Zima board. But we can still, like I said, use the uh, KVM as the interface between the Zima board, the U console and its screen. And then we can probably still use the mouse and then after that, we, we could probably set the keyboard up how we need to. So that is pretty much the basics of the Open Interface Mini KVM for the U console. I would like to thank the guys over at Open Interface for sending this out to me to test and to play with. Some learning uh, occurs on my part to get through, but overall, I'm very, very pleased with it. Super simple install, just like you install any other uh, plug and play module for the U console. Like, like I said, doing the firmware was very, very simple as well. Uh, just follow the on-screen instructions there from GitHub page, and that's pretty much it. Thank you, Open Your Face, for sending the mini key VM out to me for the U console. I greatly appreciate it. A uh, lot slower on my part, and I look forward to seeing what you guys have for us in the near future uh, from updates and whatever else comes down the pipeline. So thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, do that fun stuff, and I will see you guys in the next video.